Okay, okay. I hate to be the one, but it looks like the Simpsons were wrong about their prediction of XRP going to $589. Currently right now, the price is sitting at about 85 cents, but don't let that scare you. Just from watching this video right now, I'm gonna give you a realistic analysis on the price of XRP, and not only for what's happening now, but also for 2022. Because if you've been following XRP throughout the year, you know that there is something very big happening, and this will determine the outcome of XRP in the long term, and not only just for XRP, but also for majority of all the altcoins. So now strap in, turn up the volume, hit that thumbs up button, and we're live. I love talking about XRP. It's been one of the most successful uh, analysis that we do here on the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome here. My name is John, at Real John is my Twitter, where you can follow me for much more crypto content. But for the content in this video, it's strictly XRP. So can I have your attention now for about eight minutes or so, because I'll tell you all the things that you need to know right now that can help you out as we get into 2022. But first one sec, I need you to help me out. With your help, we can do it, I think. 26K subscribers before the end of the year. If you're already subscribed to the channel, that's great. But what also helps out a lot is you liking this video. So right now would be the time to do that if you haven't already. And just to highlight some content we put out for you guys uh, recently, we have here the top five cryptos to watch for 2022. Also, how the metaverse could change the world. And we also have another one. What if Bitcoin was a superhero? And this is content advice. I would advise you to go watch those videos if you are looking to go even further down the crypto rabbit hole. And speaking of that, if you want to go even deeper into myself, you can follow my Twitter and stay in tune with what I have going on in terms of crypto analysis and crypto content. Now, coinmarketcap.com, where is XRP? We have it here at number eight with a market cap of $40 billion and the price chilling at about 85 cents. And on currency.com, it is one of the top traded. Let's check out the sentiment right now in terms of buyers or sellers. We have 92% buyers and 8% sellers currently on the platform. But take a look at this price history. It's been pretty uh, non-consistent now, uh, pretty much all of December. But let's move on to the next important part of the video, and that is price levels. Okay, I'm going to give you support and resistance levels right now. And these are important price levels that you need to keep your eye on for XRP. And later on in this video, when we look at the chart, I'm gonna tell you exactly what those levels are and what they mean and where they are at. So the first support I have at 75 cents. The next support after that, we have 50 cents. And then we have 20 cents as that final support level. Now for the upside, I have $1, the next major resistance level, and then $1.40 and then $2 in 2022. So for this video, I'm gonna spend more time talking about the price here in just a minute. And 2021 was supposed to be a very good year for XRP. Everybody was bullish on it. Uh, more adoption was coming to crypto and things were starting off looking like a massive breakout to come and maybe even a new all time high. But then it got hit with that lawsuit between Ripple and the SEC. And that slowed down the growth for the XRP token. It made a lot of things uncertain. But just imagine how high the price would have went in uh, with all the alt seasons that happened in 2021 that thing could have launched if there was no lawsuit. But for now, the lawsuit, things have been extremely slow. Not a lot of progress being made throughout the months and months of people waiting and traders and investors waiting and even the Ripple team. And I don't have much to cover on it right now. Maybe we could even potentially get someone from the Ripple team in 2022 for an interview here on the channel. What do you guys think? And there has been many reports that progress is being made and the outcome is expected to happen in 2022 for the lawsuit. And one lawyer even said that Ripple, if they do win this lawsuit, the only uh, cryptocurrencies that will be safe from the SEC is Bitcoin and XRP. What do you guys think? I think there actually is some kind of truth to that. I could explain a lot of reasons why, and it's mostly because of regulation. But I think that's for another video, which we do have coming right up on the channel. But now as we move on to the analysis part of the video, I'm gonna give you guys two scenarios. One, if Ripple does win the lawsuit, how high can the XRP token go? How will it benefit from this? And then the other scenario is if Ripple does uh, loses this lawsuit with the X, uh, SEC, 
what will happen to the XRP token. Let's jump into the chart. I'll show you some realistic price targets to have a look on based on the outcome for 2022. Okay, so those support and resistance levels I just mentioned earlier, uh, I did say the first one is down here at about 75 cents. And if you look, that level is the lows for December so far. And also we did have some resistance at that level uh, back in August when we did recover from uh, that yearly uh, low range. The next support, if that level breaks, we do have down here at about 50 cents. 50 cents brings us to this psychological level, which was also where the price consolidated uh, for quite a few weeks in the beginning of 2021 before we had the breakout and when we had that lawsuit news. And if that level does break, then the next level is down here towards uh, 20 cents for XRP, which brings us down towards the yearly open range uh, of 2021 for XRP. So if we head back down, that means it erases all of 2021's gain. And if we look how much XRP has dropped now in the recent weeks, just from uh, the crazy corrections we've had for Bitcoin, over 50%. So at this current level now, if we do have a, a crazy shakeout again for Bitcoin, we can expect all three of those support levels to get tested. I don't mean price will tr uh, trend down there or hold. I mean, we might get something like this right here where we wick down and then we see a recovery. So that's more of a buy to dip opportunity, uh, 20 cents, 50 cents. But that's only if there's no news yet on the lawsuit, because if there is news on the lawsuit and it's bad news, and we're down in those levels, then it could possibly even be game over uh, for XRP. Now, in terms of things going up, resistance levels, what do I have? As you can see right here, it's very important level. It is just around that $1 range. You can see it's very important since August, we had a test there once, twice, almost three times, four times now, which eventually broke. And also right now, that's the 50 and the 21 day uh, moving average range, and even the 200 day moving average range that $1, and it's also even a psychological uh, resistance level. So that $1 mark will be a big level of if XRP can bounce to head up to test that range. And if it does break out, then what's next? I'm looking at $1.40. If you look at $1.40 has been important uh, in 2021, we consolidated in that range. We tested it a few times, had a lower high here. So if we do head back up, then this could just be when we break out above $1.40, which brings us to the next resistance level that I have here is around $2. And $2 brings us past 2021's high. And then in 2022, if we can't breach that $2 level, then we're most likely going to see XRP make a new all-time high. Okay, so now it's story time. I'm gonna give you a little story on XRP on how things have went down. So I'm gonna to try to make this quick. So back in 2017, you can see XRP was way down here. Not really a lot of talk about altcoins and all that stuff. And then this is when that 2017 alt season started, XRP broke out, and a lot of new people came into crypto um, around this level here in this consolidation period. And then that was the big run that made XRP hit that new all-time high at about 350. So from price at this level down here, compared to price touching 350, Nothing was different fundamentally for XRP token. It was just people were super optimistic on it's be, it being a cheap crypto, uh, it's faster than Bitcoin, and they were expecting banks to adopt it. The price didn't even get to sit up there for a few days. It instantly corrected down over 90%. Now, XRP, after that correction, all those new people, they most likely got out, got shaken out, and then XRP went right back into this long-term support uh, consolidation period. Now, in 2021, 2020, as things were looking bullish for cryptos again, XRP adoption was growing. People were getting bullish on it again, and 2020, end of 2020, beginning 2021, was looking like a good start. And as you can see, price found a bottom right here, and it started going into an uptrend. Now, what happened was the news on the lawsuit came out and that just shook out a lot of people and people were uncertain about what's next for XRP. But price did continue to push because that lawsuit, people were expecting it to get uh, resolved fairly quickly, but that was not the case. And XRP uh, went back down for another deep correction. So if you follow the pattern here now, we had this run, the deep correction, consolidation, and then another run, and then same thing here, and then 
what's going to happen next. I'm looking for another consolidation period for quite a bit of time before another run upwards. So for 2021, if you look at the numbers, XRP, it's been pretty sideways. If you did invest in the beginning of 2021, uh, I think it was down here towards uh, 23 cents currently, you'd be up about 250%, which is still a good gain. But I guess people are not happy compared to how much of a gain it was back in the day. So currently right now, from this level, I think it's good that XRP had that uh, rejection and it is in this sideways range, which I do expect to continue now for a few months until we get closer to, to an outcome for the lawsuit. Now, the outcome for the lawsuit, two scenarios, either it wins, uh, Ripple wins the lawsuit or they lose the lawsuit. Now, if they lose the lawsuit, that's gonna be very bad. Not only only for XRP, but it's gonna be very bad for a lot of other cryptocurrencies because they are in that same category as the XRP token, then you know what's gonna happen with them. The SEC is gonna crack down and a lot of altcoins will in fact drop quite a bit because then those would also be considered securities and you would see them sell off because they would all need to cover their ass. So. So a lot of people don't realize this lawsuit happening right now for XRP is not only for XRP token, and it's mostly for a lot of altcoins. So this here will determine the outcome for alt season in 2022. I think if they win the lawsuit, it's gonna be crazy. But first, let me show you the scenario if they do lose this lawsuit. So obviously I'm looking for another test towards the upside leading up to the lawsuit. And depending if they win or lose, this is where we'll see some major rejection at 140 or $2. And if the XRP token is considered a security by the SEC and they lose this lawsuit, then I think XRP will head down 10 cents, even lower than that. It won't die off, but there will most likely be uh, more and more spikes to come, depending on how the team plays out uh, using the token. But I don't want to sound too bearish for you. I know a lot of you are already disappointed with the performance. So let's talk about the upside here. So the upside potential is extremely high for the XRP token. Now I don't mean 589 like the Simpsons said, or $100 like uh, BitBoy said, nah. I'm talking about some realistic targets within this current range to the $10 range. So last time in this run we had for XRP when it went up to around 350, it almost actually flipped Bitcoin's market cap. Right now it's um, not close to doing that since it's been underperforming and Bitcoin has been overperforming. But I do see XRP, if this lawsuit goes well, uh, somewhere up north, close to $10. That's most likely the best case scenario. Anything above that, then that would be a miracle. Um, we also got to remember if we do have a massive run up, let's say we continue sideways for XRP and then test the lows again, just like what happened back here. And then a massive run up. Keep in mind, this thing is highly volatile. So if it does run up, like this, expect another major correction. Don't think you can hold this all the way up to the moon to $100, 589. It's not happening. If we do get any massive breakout, it will in fact come down pretty hard. So if you are in entering in this range here, it is actually a pretty good risk reward from this current level, pushing up, let's say towards $5, that's about a 500% gain. And you can't expect a correction to come with that. And that correction all actually depends on if X, the XRP token is being adopted or not. If it's just speculation on them uh, doing uh, winning the lawsuit, getting a settlement, then we, uh, we can't expect a major correction. But let's say they do win the lawsuit and the XRP token gets utility from banks and stuff like that, then this correction won't be as deep and we can't expect the uh, token price to continue to grow. So for 2022, I'm expecting a settlement in this lawsuit that's because in history, cryptocurrencies, a lot of them, there has been lawsuits, but usually it ends up getting settled. Uh, we've had quite a few over the years. They just pay a big chunk of money and they move on with their day. If that happens, I think price will already start moving upwards uh, going into that news. And once we see that break of $1.40 before any news of the lawsuit, that could be the confirmation right there where a lot of traders, uh, buyers will come in for that next major push but also another buy to dip opportunity is if we do keep pushing downwards and we have no news and around that 50 cent level all the way down to 20 cents, uh, that is a very good buy range for XRP, giving a very good risk reward 
on the outcome of the lawsuit. Well, I guess it's now time to say goodbye, but only until the next video. If you come back for more, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you can be notified for more videos and like this video right now. Take two seconds to do that. That's all we ask for. Even leave a comment. Let me know what you think the outcome will be for a Ripple and the SEC lawsuit in 2022. But again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you back again. It is John here with Currency.com. For more trading videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.